uh, we are waiting for the board's decision. Okay, Mr. Pradeep, uh, thank you so much for answering those questions. So, Nigel, as we always do, tell us the risks which are associated with this particular company. Well, you know, Solal, the management is sounding confident. They are talking about delivering a whole host of buses. They're saying there's a probability of unlocking value as well with regard to some equity raise as well. But there are a couple of factors that caught my eye. One being prospects of the building, a business are looking up, right? That's what the management is saying. But the promoter stake, well, it's been slipping gradually. <clears throat> From around that 60%, it's come down to around 51.5% odd. Additionally, the company hasn't paid dividends over the last few years, though it's been making a fair bit of profits, and also input costs have gone up. So what are the sustainable margins? Well, uh, Mr. Pradeep, you have given us a fair understanding about business. You're sounding rather optimistic as well. But the promoter holding has come down drastically to around 51.5%. It appears that one promoter is selling stake, the other promoter is holding one end up. My question to you is, will the promoter stake come down below this 51.5%? And also, shareholders, they like some dividend. Will you, do you have any plans of paying some dividend? 51% shall get continued. Number two, the dividends. See, now the uh, electric bus business, electric mobility has taken off. And now, uh, since it is very, very, uh, the, the business has opened up like anything. And uh, uh, perhaps you might be knowing that government of India has floated a tender for about 5,450 buses, which is due in the coming uh, week. So uh, now the numbers shall uh, go up and definitely we are planning to, uh, our board shall examine and definitely it, 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 it shall look into the dividend uh, subject matter. To the other risk factor, Mr. Pradeep, in light of uh, rising input costs, what will your consolidated margins look like then? As I mentioned, uh, uh, next year we, we would be delivering about 1500 buses, then the EBITDA would be plus 10 percent. So, that is the uh, 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 those are the uh, future uh, uh, figures what we are planning. Okay, all right, uh, thanks so much uh, for joining in, Mr. KV Pradeep, and giving us a fair analysis. Well, uh, he barely joins us, so we're going to hold him to those numbers. Oh, yes, we are. And thanks to you, that was a deep dive into the company. We have uh, not, we didn't know much about it, so this deep dive definitely I helped us. I learned myself, so <laughs> now I was happy, you know, if it uh, brought out a fair picture. <laughs> okay, so it's time to slip into a short break now, but we are not done yet. We'll come back with another interesting sector. India's sugar sector is in the spotlight on the other side.